Good morning everyone, it's Rachel here um, and I've got a fun little uh, project for you. It could be fun for a happy mail or a stocking filler again. Um, I'm not doing it with Christmas paper but you could. Uh, so you'll just have to bear with me, I've been, it's quite um, complex. So I've been trying to do samples and I watched, a, I can't remember who it was, I watched a lady on YouTube do it. Um, so I've got this paper here, uh, not YouTube, otherwise I'd link it. Um, it was someone I saw, you know, in the suggestions in Instagram. So, you know, someone who does lots of snail mails and that sort of thing. I want it first, before I start, I want to show you, this is the paper. I said it was Pina or Fabriano, but uh, it was none of the above. It's Favini, this textured paper. Um, it's 100 GSM, which I don't know what that is in pounds. Um, and you get 50 sheets and, and it's for inkjets. So, and it's a, a mixed paper. So I guess it's, um, you know, it's pro and it's um, of audio, which is um, ivory. Um, so yeah, it's really, really nice paper. I don't know if you can buy it in other countries, but you guys can get that nice linen paper and stuff like that. I printed on my um, painted paper. Because I painted it on, on, on a US paper um, that um, Pam sent me, I've got that little bit there, but I'm not worried about that now. So we need to pay attention here. So what we do is we've got our sheet of copy paper, whether it be um, US copy paper or A4 paper, you just work it out. So first of all, for the length, we fold it in half. Um, so I'm not doing, you could do this on a heavier paper. Um, I'm just doing it on the 100 GSM, okay? And then you've got to divide it into three. I think my paper's about 29 centimetres. Yep, so I have to do... I'm just going to wing it a little bit. If there's any noise um, of a motor, it's a silly person down in the garage driving me bananas. Now, I don't... I had to watch the video many times. Um, I didn't... I haven't quite got exactly how you're supposed to do it, but this is how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to fold it like that so I can, I can see my notch. Just going to put a little crease there. Like that. And I'll just, but I think I'm going to fold it this way. I couldn't quite figure it out, so I just wing it. Because I'm a bit of a ding dong. And I think I'll fold that one that way. Just try fold it. It's not perfect. It's never perfect. With me, you didn't come here for perfection. You need to go elsewhere for perfection. Okay, now this is where you need to pay attention because the first one I did, I made a mistake. So this is your crease line. Just move slightly to the right of it. Yes, that's my right. And cut down like you would if you were doing a bag. But stop about the same distance from your center crease line and then cut at an angle, okay? I'm going to have to go slowly because I, I keep making boo-boos. And then um, this one is going to fold up. Am I going to fold it up that way or that way? Oh, no, it's going to fold up that way. So then here we need to cut a diagonal because this is going to be a pocket. This is going to fold up this way, actually. So this one, I'm going to just fold that down like so. Um, and I'm going to glue it down so I get a nice sturdy edge there. Okay. Oh, what I did, what I, what I recommend is if that you do it once you wa watch the video once and then stop, do it and pause the video as you go. And that's going to fold up like that. And that's going to be a pocket, okay? But we're not going to do that yet. We then need to come to this side over here. And we need to cut, do the same. So to, this time to the left-hand side of our crease. Oh, I haven't left very much there, but it doesn't matter. It'll work. And then snip there. And we need to do again here. But I'm not going to glue that down yet. Because... Um, that's going to fold up there. Oh yeah, I did it. And that no, that's wrong. That's got to fold it, fold that way. So we'll glue this. First of all, sorry guys. Okay, so we've got these two bits happening here on the same side. Okay, 
and then we trim off along our center crease here. Let's do that first. Trim that off. That's going away. We don't want that. Okay, so I'm going to glue this pocket down first. You may need to watch it a few times because it's a little bit confusing as a project. And I know I've got my creases all around the wrong way and I have to wing it because I'm a ding dong and I can't figure it out. My sister will probably be crying laughing at me. So that's going to fold that way. So we're going to have our pockets on the outside. So remember that. So that's that way. Okay. And that's going to fold like so. Then this one needs to fold like this over. Okay. And then this pocket is going to fold up like this. So that's why I didn't glue that down because I need to fold it the other way. Because I did it wrong. Even if you want to fold it this way, you actually maybe we well, can fold it this way. And what I did with this one, because I've got that little bit there, what I did, if you prefer to have the pattern there, like that, um, then I just put a bit of book page there to cover that bit there. But I think with this one, I'm going to fold it that way. So I'm going to glue it in and we'll have the two contrasting patterns. Okay, and then fold that there. I need to snip that bit. Well, you don't have to snip that bit off. See, I've only given myself a tiny bit there. I could have had a bit more. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter as long as it sticks down. Now, you could use, a, you know, one of your wet glues, whatever you like. And that needs to glue down there. So let me just get the glue off my fingers. Okay, let's move that out of the way. So what we end up having is this. We have pocket here and that's blank. But it, it's a trifold, you see, and pocket there. So remember, pockets on the outside, pockets on the outside. Now I will need to cover that little bit up. Um, so I'll just grab a little piece of book page and I'll just trim it off straight at the bottom. Put some glue on it and then I'll trim it off. So I've sort of, um, it's not exactly the same as the video, um, what I'm doing, but um, it's similar. So that goes like that. I wonder if I can tuck that in there. I can, see, and you cover that up. Right, so pockets on the outside and then they can be decorated and then blank there and blank there. Now I'm going to put some book page down there I think. So let's trim this off. Take that off and then just tear it. Trim it off at the top because it needs to, oh, I don't want to cover all of that, so let's trim it a bit narrower. Yeah, that's going to go there. So I'll just trim that bit off there. Okay, right. We'll glue that. Keep my, try to keep my glue pages over on the side, so that way I don't... Um, Go off screen. Okay, so that's that. Right, so we've covered up all our boo-boos. I've got this one here as well. Do I have any more boo-boos? I've got that little boo-boo there, but I won't worry about it too much. I've got that, that. I've got that bit there. So is it going to be tall enough? No. I'm going to glue that on there and then put something else as well. I might glue that up there and cover that bit down there. Okay, and mm -hmm. I have this these scraps here. Well, just a minute. I've got this lovely scrap here. Well, that can be good for something. Just a minute. Let me see what else I have here. 
Here we go. Maybe I'll put a piece of that. Do I have anything? So oh, I've got a small piece here. Sorry, guys. Here's a small piece. I'll put that there. These are left over from the project the other day. So these are little, um, as I said, cute little things for um, for what do you call it? Pen pal or little, you know, random acts of kindness or put them in a stocking. Okay. And of course you could adjust it. You could have the pocket going on that side and that could glue down into a journal and then it could open like that. There'd be a pocket there, nothing there and a pocket there. You can adjust it to whatever you like. This obviously would be a floating thing or possibly you could tip it in there. No, tip it in here so it opens like that sort of thing as a three three thing so it's very very cute okay so now we're going to there's more still more to be done so I'm going to open it like this right um, and then we're going to make some pockets so I've got now which book page will I use just a minute you're gonna we're gonna be recycling book pages. I'm just gonna see which ones do I want to use. I don't want that one. I don't want that one. Here's my here it is. I wanna see if I can get this one would be perfect. If I can I need to get it out. No, this won't be perfect because this is brittle. So we need some book page, but we don't want book page that's going to fall apart. So I think I might just use this one. I quite like this paper, even though I've been gluing on it. I do quite like it. So you need nice or a double double book page or um, so double book page. So it's big or a big book. I'll tell you how big this one is, even though we'll be trimming some off. So this is near, about nearly 11 and a half inches by eight and a half so what i'm going to do is just fold it in like this fold in one side and i'm going to be making a little thing to fit here so i need to measure it here that it fits on there so where's my crease there so that goes there and then i need to fold it in so that when i stick it in there it's going to fit okay I don't know that I've folded that very straight. Oh, the kids, that's the kids upstairs making noise. And I need to do, I need to do another one. And I'll need to do one for the other one as well. So we need to do, we're going to mass produce here. So I'll fold in this one. And then I'll just measure it on here, you see. Like so. And then fold in that one. So you need two of these for each one. Oops, it's not straight. Okay, that's that one. And then I need to do two more. <laughs> I'm just trying to find ones that I haven't glued on. 1930. So we'll use both of those. So I fold in one. It's super fun, super fun. You've just got to figure out the first bit, the folding bit, and then you'll be right. I can't tell you how many times I've probably watched that video to figure it out. And I still, I'm not doing a perfect job. I actually like this, the index page. I'm going to do the, use the index page. Okay. And this is quite strong paper too. So I like that. I'm going to just trim off that bit. I don't want that curly-whirly bit. So how is everybody today? I didn't ask you how you are. I actually, on Thursday, <laughs> I uploaded my video and then I completely forgot to publish it. How about that? So you got it yesterday. I missed a day. Oh, I'm not measuring. Just a sec. Don't forget. Don't forget the rules. You've got to measure the width. The width needs to be measured otherwise we'll get it wrong oh my goodness and Lulu had it so she had um, to go to school today because they go to school twice a week for workshops and um, so today was architecture and <laughs> we didn't hear our alarm well I heard my alarm 
but got totally confused in my mind and this is very shiny i don't like that now what i'm going to do is put my glue along this edge here and along this edge here just to make sure they glue down i didn't put it all over that other one because otherwise um, i might put too much and then it would glue down there so i'm just gluing now so if I go off screen, all I'm doing is gluing. I did fall off a bit off the wagon with going off the screen. I have gone off screen a little bit. I'm probably off screen right this very second as I speak. Um, as you know, the goal this year, and I've glued that on that side, so I need to glue this on the opposite side. Ding dong. Um, yes, I have fallen a little bit off the wagon, but I'm going to try and do better. Not totally off screen, a bit off screen, just a bit, just a bit. So this one like this. So pay attention to where you're putting your glue. You don't want to put them on both sides, but in the sense that um, you've got glue both on the outside, that would be no good. So you have to have the glue on the inside here, on the outside here, if you know what I mean. So that's that. And then this one again. So I take this, open that up and put the glue along there and glue along there all right hopefully i didn't do it wrong no so when they fold they glue together there we go right now the next job is we need to get our little folder a little flippy thing and we need to see the height that we need because this is paper is too long okay so i need to fold it up and it needs to fit in there so fold it up like that line it up and crease it and the excess i'm going to trim it off but don't throw that away because we can use that so just trim it off i'll trim it off messily and then i'll trim it off i'll just do a better slightly better trim there Okay, so that's that one. So we can measure these. I might measure them like this. How about that? That one's slightly wider, but it should be okay. So we'll trim off this. You're probably thinking, what on earth is she doing? You'll see. It's super cool. You'll see. Trust me. And then straighten it up a little bit. That wasn't very straight, but anyway, fold it up. Put your creases on the inside. Okay, that's two. And we need this one. And this one. Okay, so now get our glue paper. Just move my little bookie over there. What we need to do is, and don't get this wrong because I always get these things wrong, do a T. You glue it in a T like that, okay? Like so. And then I'll do the other ones. Let's do the other ones. We're, we're mass producing, so fold it up. And glue it in a T. So along the middle and up the centre. Took me a minute to realise that that was what she was doing. Okay, one, two. And I want, my, I want my writing up the right way at the front. So hopefully I remember that before I do the next step. T. And then T. Very clever lady, this one, who did this. Okay, so I flipped them all around so they're right way. Now, I need to get my little book and I'm going to glue one here. I know I'm covering up that. That's going to glue there. So, again, I'm going to do the T. Make sure you put plenty of glue. So it will stick. And wait till you see the coolness of this. 
Okay, look at this. And you've got a little, little folder. Look at that. And that closes like that. And then open here. And we're going to have one here as well. And the tea, which I love, allows it to be... Oh, I was meant to put it there. It doesn't matter. Um, we'll do that on the other one. The tea allows it to expand, as we as we know. I, I generally have a problem with that. And I've stuck it in the wrong spot. I'll just have to wing it. So, yes, I didn't measure where. And so now I'm hitting my crease. It's right on my crease. So that will just have to go like that. Or I could take it off. Let's just take it off. And slide it over. Why don't I do that? That might be a better thing to do. How about that? That goes there. That's better. Okay. And where's my other one? I had another one going. So that's that. And on the other... Oh, here it is. So I'm going to have one here. Like she did. Get my tea going. Sounds like I'm having a cup of tea, doesn't it? So that's going to go on there. And that folds good. And then I'm going to open this. And here, I'm going to put it here. So it doesn't matter which one. I mean, you can do it like I did the first one. But I just wanted to be more true to um, what um, I saw on Instagram. And so that's where she put. One was here. And the other one was over there. So I've got one there. And then one here. Whereas in the other one, I stuck them both on, on this bit, the middle bit. Okay. I apologize if it's confusing. It is a bit of a complex project, but it is super fun. Okay. So my next job I need, and I could use these, but I won't use these. I'll keep those for another project. The next job is to make a pocket. And she made them out of ledger paper. So I'm going to grab some ledger paper here. I've got... I remembered I have this ledger paper here. Um, oh, it has something in there. I hadn't seen that. Oh, cool. Oh, isn't that cool? 1920. <gasps> Lovely writing. Oh, I never, I never even saw that. Look at this beautiful paper. Anyway, um, we'll grab some ledger paper. We'll grab one that has plenty of writing on it. 1927. And we need to make two pockets out of the ledger paper so what i'm going to do is measure the height again i don't want to i don't want to waste my ledger paper do i so i grab my ruler grab my ruler and i maybe don't want it to be too big i'm going to rip it along there and i'm going to, oh no i've done it wrong i needed to leave a bit more so i'll have to grab another piece doesn't matter, I can use the ledger paper for something else. So, yes, I've done it wrong because I'll show you why. So I need to fold it over. Where's my, where's my width? Where's it going? Just a second. Not there, it's going over here. So I just need to fold it in like that. And then I want my width here like that so a bit narrower than the actual paper and then fold up the bottom that's what i was supposed to do with the other one i don't think i can use that other piece i'll have a look but i don't think so then i'm going to cut the two side bits off and do that at a little angle there cut those off like you're making a little baggie okay then I think I'll have the... Oh, no, it's going to glue down onto the book anyway. So I'll just glue this here. Might put a little bit of glue on there as well, just to make sure they stick down. Stick that, stick, stick that down and that down. Oh, my goodness. I'm a bit of a ding-dong today. And glue along there. 
have it. Did I finish telling you about Lulu? We slept in, so I had to take it. I took her to school late. See, we've got a little cute little pocket there. And now she snipped both out there, but I'm just going to snip the front bit. Like that. Okay, and that is going to glue on. Isn't that cute? That's going to glue on there. And I'll have to grab... Well, that's okay, because I'll use these. I, well, no, I'll make a smaller one for the other one. It'll just be smaller. It'll be slightly smaller. And then you just get a bit of glue and glue this down. Now, you could have the back as a pocket, but, you know, this is um, old, brittle paper, so I wouldn't bother. You've got enough pockets happening here. Okay, isn't it cute? We've got that and that. And then here, we're going to put a little belly band. I've got this here. I could stick that there. And that could be a little... I could trim it off, actually. But that's boring. I don't want to put that one there. Oh, this. This is what I wanted to use. I'm going to use this as a belly band. I might use that. No, I'll use this bit here. But I need to cut it. I need to use my brain. <laughs> which is not easy, and I need to, I'm going to do this type of belly band, where well, that's folded over, I'll just measure it, and that is folded over, too far, there, and they both need to get glue on them, plenty of glue, I'm just going to put it off to the side here, like that. Okay, and that's going to glue down. So that one is done. All we need to do is put a little bit of decoration. Isn't that cute? It's so cute. So I've got to put stuff in there. Got a little belly band here. Just looking for something to slide under the belly band. A little belly band there. Um pocket here and then opens this way and you have your pocket there and your, and your little expandable folder there. So cute and then we'll we'll finish it off in a second so let's just do this one. So this one, ha here I made, this is where I made my boo-boo, see when you open it like this I've got my two that one's glued shut, we've got my two expandable folders there, it doesn't matter like you can do any sort of creation that you want. So on one I need to put my belly band and I'll do this one again because it all works well together, I think. And so I'll put that there, and I need to fold it about there. Let me see. No, a bit more. Just eyeball it. I'm going to fold it there, and I'll just trim a bit off because there's too much there. And then we'll get the glue going. So it doesn't really matter where you put, put your pockets. And, of course, you can make up your own pockets. You don't have to do exactly what you know what's being done here. But um, upside down. Oh no, it's sideways, so it's not upside down. Okay, so that's that. So this is all done. So that's that there. That closes, that closes, and then we flip it over and we've got that there. And I needed to put my little. Um, this one's going to be a bit smaller. It's not a problem. So just fold that over there and then measure the width again. About that wide. Here, this is very lumpy. I'm going to trim that off. And just fold that over. I've got plenty of space here to do my gluing. So that needs to glue there. And that needs to glue there. Like so. Make sure they're straight. And I'm just going to do... Oh, I forgot. I've made a boo-boo. I shouldn't have glued it yet. I need to do my little lip there. But that's okay. I can still manage. I can still manage to trim it. I'll just go like this. Like so. Trim that off. And I'll just cut them more at an angle like that. So you can still manage things if you make a mistake. Worst case scenario, 
is I would just use it for collaging, rip it up and use it for collaging. That's the worst case scenario. So I've still got this cute little pocket and I'm going to put my little snip in there before I glue it down. And then I need another glue page. I was going to use the punch as my glue. That would have been interesting. Put that there. So how cute are they? Oh, I quite like the small size. I like the small size actually more. Okay, so that's that. And then we could do a tiny bit of decoration if we wanted to. Um, wait just a sec. I've got some things floating around here on the table. Um, what do I have? I've got these. I always like these that Steffi did for me bit of old letter um, maybe we'll have an initial where's that nice tear ruler I really am loving this tear ruler I wouldn't have thought that I would like it so much I think what stuck in my mind when was when lovely Gail first used them and it was slipping and then I, they, I don't know, it always just sort of stayed with me that they slipped. But in reality, I think I like it more there. Oh, I really like that. I'm going to glue that down there. Um, in reality, if you just put the right pressure, they're actually really good. I'm liking it. I think I like them more than my metal one um, because they're transparent and you can line them up. And when, um, you know, when you slip, because in, inevitably that happens, um, what it does to me, um, I'm just going to leave that like that. Could put something on there. Um, inevitably, you will slip, um, and then you can reline them up, which I really like about them. So they're very, very good. Those. Um, I'm not quite sure what I want to put on these, so I don't know whether I'm going to sit here and do that. But maybe we will. Oh, well, I like that. So you could print these things smaller if you needed to um, and um, and we use them to decorate as well I don't know whether I might like just to stick that on I quite like that but I don't I'm kind of sorry to cover up the Umbria part what have I got over here Piemonte maybe I'll stick it there I think I'll stick it there um a bit of a headache today didn't wake up I think you know that's part of what's happened is we didn't hear the alarm and didn't get up and and then I've woken up with a headache because I flung myself out of bed and I was like Lulu Lulu didn't wake up anyway she she went down and she went in at the second hour when the bell rang so even though they've got four hours of the same teacher like that it's very simple um they've got the same teacher all day today Hopefully she didn't get into trouble. I don't think so. She said lots of them, some naughty kids um, actually just go out and just want to see what's here. Um, they go out and have um, coffee and come in in the second hour. They don't even come into class. I don't know if their parents know. And they rock on up at the second hour because they've gone up. But I don't think they can do that now because the, well, the bars are open, but only for takeaway. You're not allowed to um, sit in the bar and have coffee. So, um, could stick that there. Is that upside down? No, it's that way. I think I'll stick that there. So, fairly simple decoration here. I think the video is probably quite long. And before I go, I'm going to redo the fold for you. Just maybe I'll just use a piece of scrap paper. So, that's that. Um, that's that. I really like that. You could put a little flower there or something could be really cute. And then it opens this way. Here we haven't done anything. Didn't want to cover Umbria. Let me see what else I've got floating around. Plenty, plenty of stuff. Just not the right stuff. Just not the right. Well, what about a bit of this? Uh, 
I don't know why I don't want to cover up the Umbria, but I like it. I covered up the Piemonte. I could stick that there. Why don't I do that? So sorry if it's confusing. It's a confusing project. I can't tell you how many I folded. I folded so many. <laughs> and I kept getting them wrong. So that's that. I could put that there. Now I don't like that. Uh, of course I don't. What else do I have flying around? And then, of course, to fill it, what could you put in? You could put in some things printed on nice paper, like this. Um, and you could put um, things to decorate things. You could put little tags in there, stickers. No, that's too much. I might just leave it for now. Um, yeah, so you can put in little tags, and, um, and I don't like that bit there. I'm just going to snip that off. Um... Put in little tags, bits of ephemera. Fun things to play with. It's so cute. Such a cute. I love that. I don't know why I, I love that. I love the colours, I think. So that's that one. I haven't decorated that one, but I'll, I'll do that later, I think. I really like that. I don't want to cover that up too much. Mm, I quite like that there. I'll put that there. I said I wasn't decorating it, but you know, as I always say, if something comes to your mind and you try it and you like it, do it because you'll forget. Well, that's what happens to me. Memory like a sieve and I just forget things. So I'm keeping it fairly simple, the decoration, not putting too much on. Probably put an initial there, I'm not sure. And here, um, keeping just keeping it a bit Italian, I think. And tear this one down. I like fussy tearing these things. Might still be too big. Tear a bit more off. Yeah, I think I'll stick that there. Do I want anything peeking out from behind is the question. I could have a piece of that. No, no, I'm just going to put that there. It's incredible to think that the paper that I'm gluing on now, what was it, 1930? So it's 90 years old, the paper. Put a little Tracy label there if you wanted to. Sherry, you won't want to, will you? Put a Tracy label there, but you could. I wouldn't put anything there because that's a little belly band. I could put something there. I could put something there. Um, I said I wasn't decorating it. I lied. See how these, I mean, it's fabulous. I just can't recommend these. Um, rulers enough because they are really I've only used one love that I'm gonna put that there or do I want it there mm, no I think I'll put it on there there you go you get me decorating them oh dear can't help myself oh so yummy Need something there. Need something there. No. Oh, I quite like that. I'm going to put that there. Now. Is that little bit there going to bother me? Do I need to put something on there? No. Leave it. Oh, 
my goodness, what are those kids doing? Okay, so that is my project. And then you tie a nice string around them. Fill them and tie a nice string around them. So there we have it. So we've got pocket here. Expand, oh no, regular pocket there, expandable there. Pocket here. And then at the back, expandable there. And belly band. So cute. And if you have like a um, journal that's not a gator mouth, then they could slip in a pocket too. That could happen. You just make adjustments too as you go, like snip bits off that you don't like. Okay, and then there's this one. So pocket here. I did my expandables there, which is a bit of a boo-boo, but I don't think that's so bad. Um, then here, belly band, pocket, expandable, and pocket there. Super, super, super cute. Very nice to hold in your hand and tie a bit of sari silk around them and off you go. So before I go quickly, let's just fold this piece of paper how it's supposed to be. So remember, lengthwise in half. Then for the width, you divide it into three. Now I'm just going to eyeball it right now. I'm going to eyeball it because um, I, don't, I want to let you go, but I just wanted to re reiterate the the folding so in three it's not perfect and then I think I was meant to fold it that way it doesn't matter you can you can re you can readjust your folding so on your left hand side start cut to the right of your crease your first crease and at the center there at an angle then what I did was I um, folded that in so that's nice and strong or you can trim it right off down to there if you want to but I didn't um, and then that's going to be the inside of that pocket and that's going to fold up there and glue but first before you do that on the other side now she did some flipping things but that confused me so I just go like this on the other side do the same thing and then cut, I haven't done my diagonal there yet, cut this off. We don't want this piece here. Make yourself a template. Do it with some scrap paper, um, you know, like stuff, something that you would throw out so you don't get confused. So that's going to glue there, okay? And then it's going to fold back. I know my crease is going that way, but you fold it back that way. And then that one's going to fold like that. So it's a tri. It's like a... You're creating like a um, a Z. It's like a Z. So hold that. And remember, your pockets are going on the outside. You can do this step. So that's going to fold like that. And then you're going to have this is going to be the inside there. And that's going to fold up like that. So we have our pockets on the outside. Okay. There we go. And then you can put you put accordion in there and or the coin little pocket there or the belly band and then here you put no you put the coin pocket there and accordion there accordion here and belly band okay so you can write that down if you like so pockets on the outside it's like a z the pockets on the outside um, make sure so let's unfold it make sure when you cut it it's both on the same side because the first one, I, I did one here and one there and that doesn't work. So you've got to have your pockets on both the same side from what I could see. Um, and then they fold up. One like that, one like that. Fold it. So pockets on the outside. Just repeating myself just so it's clear. I haven't glued anything, obviously. Um, accordion, belly band, coin pocket, accordion okay if you want to do it that way or you can make up whatever other type pockets you want you could put no pockets oh how cool would it be if you stitched in pages there that would be cool as well mm, we might do that might do a variation so i hope you enjoyed that um I'm, i apologize if i confused you at all um it's quite complicated but as i said watch the video and then get a piece of paper that you're going to throw out like a misprint or whatever um, 
or an old bill or a newsletter, whatever, or, you know, like even a catalog page, do the folding and the cutting and have that as your template and take notes. Okay. And then, and then do it with your good paper because you don't want to mess up your good paper. And, and I, as, as you saw here, I had printed that double sided, but you don't have to like, if you had nice paper like this one, you could, um, you could, um, stamp on the other side, do some stamping. That would be fun too. So there we go. So I hope you enjoyed that. That's my little project for today. And I will see you again soon. Bye.